One of the greatest challenges a lot of freelancers face is how do you get clients, especially when you're just getting started, right? You don't have a track record, you don't have a lot of experience. Maybe you are new to this whole industry. What could you do? Now today I'm going to introduce you to my director of copy, Peter here. Now Peter also started off as a freelancer, right? Not knowing a lot about what he's getting himself into. So I want him to share his story with you of how he got started. More importantly, I'm also going to bring more mentees onto my channel. Have them share what they have learned from me and how some of the lessons have applied and affected their life. So enjoy. Cool. Hey guys, my name is Peter and you've probably seen me in a couple other videos with Sifu where I'm getting beat up in Wing Chun videos. But really, I got my start in the world of copywriting and freelancing where for the first few months, I got beat up by clients and rejections. So today, I wanna teach you guys a bit more about what I went through, how you can get your first clients as a freelancer, and really what not to do. So one story that Sifu told me when I first came onto the team was about his first business. So you see, Sifu had a lawn mowing business where he was first trying to get his clients. He knocked on every door in every neighborhood and he said, hey, can I mow your lawn? And of course, they all said no. So one day, Sifu saw this lawn and it had just tall grass, it was unkept, it was really messy, and the owner wasn't home. So Sifu did something really dramatic and he just mowed the lawn for them. He sat on the porch and waited for the owner to come back. When the owner came back, they drove by and they actually didn't even recognize it. So when they drove back, they're like, what the hell is this? They looked at the lawn, they saw Sifu on the porch, and they're like, oh, did you do this? And Sifu Dan, he says, yes, I saw this lawn, it was really unkept. I just did it for you. I thought you were busy. Like, this, I'm just trying, I'm just a young kid trying to get started in business. And the owner, she was so surprised, but she was really, really grateful. And she paid Sifu his first hundred dollars. So from that lesson, you need to learn one thing. When you want to get more clients, more freelance clients, the first thing you'll have to do is to add value. This is very similar to a story of how I got started because when I first started, I got a list of every business owner in Vancouver from you know Yellow Pages, from directories, from Google, and I emailed them. I said, hey, I do copywriting, you're a business, do you want my copywriting services? And guess what they said? No, because I didn't add any value upfront. First three months, that's all I did. I got one phone call, we got on the call, and they rejected me. So that strategy obviously does not work. So what did I do? I changed up my strategy, and I started delivering more value to more clients. I saw their website, and I emailed them, hey, I went on your website, I saw you can make these changes, these changes, these changes, and I think it's really improved your business, improve your conversions, it'll get you a lot more revenue. So I saw different areas of websites it could be improved, and I said, hey, I could help you with this for free, right? They took me up on it, I did the work, and then they kept me on retainer, and that's how I actually got my first client. Now, for all my future clients, I did the exact same thing. I looked at areas of their business, I saw where I could actually help them get them more value, more revenue, more convergence. I did the work up front, I showed it to them, and said, hey, if you wanna use it, use it. If you don't wanna use it, that's perfectly fine, no strings attached. And that's actually how I got my first 10 clients too. So what you can get from this video is that you always want to add value up front. Don't be one of those people that are asking for things. Don't be one of those people at YouTube comments asking for a loan from Sifu Dan. Don't be one of those people asking me to be a mentor for, for free. Don't be one of those people that are asking for, asking for more value by doing nothing, right? You really wanna be a person of value that's adding more value to other people's lives. And that's really how you get your first clients as a freelancer. So if you like this video, leave a comment down below, smash the like button, and we've actually prepared a training for you guys if you wanna learn how to become a more financially confident freelancer, earn more money, get more clients. There's a link in the description that you can click down below. So click that if you wanna learn more. And that's it from me today.